Happy New Year and blessings to you all. Thank you so much for stopping by to prayers for you where God downloads prayers. He tells me the word to give to you guys on this platform. And I know I've been away for some time, but I'm back and I'm ready to get back to um, the intercessor that God has called me to be. And so for this particular prayer, I really want to pray for you guys in regards to partnerships, in regards to relationships, and not necessarily talking about any type of intimate relationships but as you go forth in this year I pray that God will send godly covenants unto you I pray that you wouldn't feel alone you wouldn't feel isolated because that is not God's mandate for your life he has called you to walk amongst other people to be in unity with other people just like the foundation of this world he brought forth Adam and he brought forth Eve and not only that but the animals when Noah had the ark, they went two by two by two. And so God has not called us to live a life where we're supposed to be alone, that we're supposed to be isolated from the company of other believers. So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that God will send godly friendships, godly government covenants, godly leaders into your pathway to walk with you, to encourage you, to inspire you, to impart wisdom and understanding and knowledge into your life. I pray pray in the name of Jesus that if you have felt lonely, if you have felt defeated, if you have um, experienced any loss and grief, that you will feel the comfort and love of God. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every person under the sound of my voice will experience the true love of God, the unconditional love of God. And as he partners with you, that he will send godly people to surround you. Godly people, in the mighty name of Jesus to call you out of the state in which you're in even now. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that his presence will surround you. That in times of loneliness, in times of grief, in times of insecurity, or you feel like you are left alone, that God will show you that he sticks closer than the brother, that he would never leave you nor forsake you. I pray in the name of Jesus that every kingdom call, even if you have a business, even if you're working in a church, in the school, whatever your sphere of influence is, know that God has sent you there to be an example unto other people that how if we stay faithful to him number one he's going to be faithful to us that he's going to bestow blessings upon us but here's the thing people need you people need your voice people need to see you the joy that comes out of you they need to see the fruit of the spirit exuding out of you love joy peace happiness suffering long long suffering temperance meekness they need to see it because other people need you other people need your friendship other people People need your voice. We have to work together. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you would not be discouraged, that you would not be dismayed. And as a scriptural reference, and it's something that I just actually started studying once again was Joshua. Look at Moses and Joshua. Moses was older, Joshua was younger, but at the same time, they partnered together to do the kingdom work. Now, granted, Moses didn't make it over to the promised land, right? But at the same time, he built up Joshua until it was his time to move on, that God took him out in the sense of he passed away. Moses passes away. But in that time that they were working together, Moses inspired him. Moses encouraged him. Moses mentored him moving forward so that Joshua, he will be able to raise up other people to say, have the same partnerships. Because even as um, Joshua went forth, what happened? What happened with that? He sent out two spies, two by two, to go seek out the land, to seek out the promised land so that they could capture it. God has covenants for you. He has blessings for you. There's a land filled with milk and honey that has your name on it. But we can't do it alone. God has called us to partner together. God has called us to be in unity and walk together. So if you don't have anybody that you can really depend on, that you can really call upon, that you can really look up to who is either more seasoned, have more wisdom, who knows? Or even if he's called you to partner with somebody who's probably a little bit younger than you, they're looking up to you for leadership and guidance. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus that God will give you wisdom, that he will send the right people into your path, that he will train you up to be the leader that he has called you to be in the mighty name of Jesus. And one of the main things I want to leave to you is don't get weary in well-doing. 
Don't get weary in well doing. Don't get weary in well doing. Even if you failed, even if you sinned, pick yourself back up, repent and keep moving forward. God does not condemn us. He brings us to a place of repentance. He brings us into a place of unity and oneness with him. That's where redemption comes in. That's where his grace comes in. That's where his mercy comes in. And he extends it to all of his children. And we are his children. We are his children. We are the sheep of his pasture, right? He leads us into green pastures. But we have to be in one with him. So even if you have failed, even if you feel like God is not for you, that's not true. That's a lie of the enemy. A lie of the enemy. So for since the foundation of this world, what happened? God wanted to be in unity with us. And to this very day, he still does. But he's waiting on you. And his word says, call on to me and I will answer. Call on to me and I will show you great and mighty things. And another scripture says to call on to me in the days of your trouble. He will answer you. He will answer you. But you got to call upon him. You got to make your request known. You got to let him know where you are right now. If you feel lonely, if you feel defeated, if you're experiencing grief, right? If you feel like nobody is for you, that everybody betrayed you. Hey, talk to the Lord. Examine your heart. Examine your surroundings. And ask God to give you wisdom and insight as to how to move forward and how to build godly covenants with other people. So, Father God, I thank you for my brother and my sisters who are listening under the sound of my voice, Father. Father God, you know them by the very hairs on their head. You knew them even before the foundation of this earth, Father God. You knew, oh God, that they would come across this message that you have placed in my heart to share on this day, Father. Father God, I ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will saturate them with your presence, that you will remind them that you are a covenant keeping God, that you will remind them, oh God, that you did not create them or bring us unto this earth to live a life alone. You have called us to be in fellowship with one with another. You called us to be in fellowship to work together for your kingdom mandate, oh God. So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that their gifts, their abilities, their talents will not run dry, will not stay stagnant, Father God. But I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will send people even now, Father, that they, you will place people on their hearts and you will place them on other people's hearts, oh God, that will reach out and partner with them to tell them that they love them and they're here for them and anything that they need that they could call upon those individuals that have your heart your heart your compassion father god your attributes oh god in the mighty name of jesus i come against every fiery dart of the enemy that would try to sabotage sabotage this prayer that would try to come and sabotage the minds and the, 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 the desires of your people father God in the mighty name of Jesus I come against every attack that would try to discourage your people father God in the mighty name of Jesus and I plead the blood of Jesus over their lives I plead the blood of Jesus over their relationships I plead the blood of Jesus over their businesses and I plead the blood of Jesus over God over their household their finances their jobs oh god in the mighty name of jesus cover them oh god let your glory cover over them let your glory su su sustain them oh god let your glory surround them oh god in the mighty name of jesus and we will never fail to give you the glory the honor and the praise oh god as we bless your own holy name as we testify of the great and mighty things that you have done the transformation that has taken place in our lives the restoration that's taken place in our lives oh god and the fulfillment and the fruitfulness that will come forth father in the mighty name of jesus thank you for every relationship every godly covenant relationship that will be established in the mighty name of jesus we bless you we honor you in jesus name i pray and we pray Amen and amen and amen. Thank you guys. I look forward to coming to you with more prayers for you. Blessings and take care.